A mix of rain and a little bit of snow this morning before everything quickly transitions over to rain as we head into the afternoon. Here's future track around 9 a.m. this morning. Winds still a little bit on the lighter side this morning, but they will kick up this afternoon. Temperatures climbing into the 50s this afternoon as well, but with the rain and a bit of a wind, it'll kind of feel like kind of a raw, cool day out there. Notice the snow, though, from Richmond south through Interstate 85 and north on 95. You're going to be seeing some impacts there. If you have to travel today, keep that in mind. In Hampton Roads, rain becomes heavier this afternoon, especially this evening as we see this band of showers, perhaps a few embedded thunderstorms push in too. I think the higher chances for storms will be in North Carolina. Much the area is seeing that wind and rain, though, into the evening time frame before things push away as we head into the overnight. So winter weather advisories are in effect for some counties. James City County to the west, that's where that winter weather advisory is in effect. Could see a few issues with travel this morning. Where that rain pushes in and kind of washes it all away. But look at the snow west of us. Lots of snow from the Appalachian Mountains into West Virginia, up into Pennsylvania. Some areas can see over a foot of snow. Here we're talking one to two inches of rain across south side into the Outer Banks, one to three. A little bit lighter told as you go towards the Middle Peninsula and the Peninsula. But winds, those will be the big story though, I think, this afternoon. Pretty much everyone will see the wind, and you will certainly notice it this afternoon as those winds kick up 30. At times, Towards the late evening time frame, could see a few gusts up to maybe 50 miles per hour, especially along the coastline. That'll be where we see some of the higher chances. But uh, the overall story for today, wind and rain and some minor tidal flooding. Let's talk about the tidal flooding and where we're going to see some of that impact. F towards Sewell's Point, looking at 4.6 feet, that's towards the minor category. This is not expected to be anything like we saw a couple of weeks ago. But we could see a little bit of nuisance flooding, minor flooding towards that evening high tide cycle uh, through the Outer Banks as well. But into Monday, that's when we'll have to watch the northern portion of the eastern shore uh, towards Accomack County where the Monday morning tide around 1140 could be on the higher side. Today, 50s in the forecast. Notice we head into Monday, 40s. Same thing for Tuesday. Good amount of sunshine Tuesday. 50s back for Wednesday and then a couple chances for rain later on in the week.